that had saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. Good.
So today, Gracie turns 20 weeks old. Two weeks ago, she turned 18. So she got her first lottery tickets. Uh, we didn't win big, but she's, she's the prize. We won big with her. We went to our 12 week ultrasound and um, immediately saw the heartbeat on the screen. I got so excited, got to the end and she said, I'll be right back, I have to go get the doctor. He said, the nucleotranslucency is three times where it should be. Um, the baby has more than likely a heart defect. We were prepared to not find a heartbeat, but Grace was a little warrior and had a heartbeat every time. He said that with this condition, even with a typical child, the outcomes are grim. Um, leads to multi-system organ failure, sudden death, the risk of throwing a clot is through the roof. Um, the quality of life is just not there. And there's a three-step surgical route that would go and it would never completely fix the heart. And ultimately, the child would need a heart transplant. And because Grace has Down syndrome, her lung artery pressures are too high for surgery to be successful. So that's why surgery is not an option. I looked him in the eye and I said, how long do we have with our child? How long will we have with Grace? And he said, hours to days. And getting that news was like getting hit by a Mack truck a thousand times over. That's what we had been prepared for since July 2nd. Hours to days, hours to days, hours to days, like two days max, that's it. The prognosis came and went. I looked at the doctor while they were prepping me and and I just looked at her and I said, just please keep Grace comfortable. I said, everything I've done has been to keep her safe. And I said, please, just do whatever you can. And I remember looking at the clock when they cut her cord and saying, okay, two hours, here we go, game on. And I just constantly looking at the clock from there on out, like, when is it gonna happen? When is it gonna happen? And it hasn't happened. All I wanted was time with her and we've gotten 20 weeks and she's nothing but a miracle and I want people, I want the world to know she's the most amazing gift we've ever been given. I cannot imagine their life without her. I would do anything for my kids for the end of the world, but it still wasn't enough. <laughs> I just, I've always wanted her to know how much she's loved. <laughs> as a mom and as a nurse I wear two different hats and I felt like if I had just agreed to hospice that I would be throwing in the towel and I wanted to make sure every stone was unturned if there was something out there that could fix her I wanted to fix her so when we were getting ready to go, my mom said, you know what, I think we need to start having birthday celebrations for her every week. Every week until she's 100 years old, we will have a birthday celebration because she's just incredible. That gets me through the week, like, okay, Friday's coming. I mark it on the calendar how many days we have with her and how many weeks we have. There's purpose for everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously she's here for a reason. We just never gave up on her and she's rewarding us for sticking with her. She's here for a purpose. That's for sure. She has defied every odd that has been stacked up against her. The whole world has been against her, and yet she continues to prove everyone wrong. Even her cardiologist. I've asked him numerous times at our appointments, can you give us an updated timeline? And he chuckles and he says, Janelle, I can't. She has not listened to one thing we have said about her. He goes, just remember, I've never seen a patient like her and neither have any of my colleagues. And I said, okay, well then she's just gonna keep on being a miracle. And I could tell he was smiling under his mask when I said that. Made me proud because she's just amazing grace. <laughs> Mama, this room, so much crazy. This is our home. Look, this is my home. Hi, <laughs> here's a smile. Uh.
Yeah. I love you too. You do it for the ones you love. So, Daddy's right there. And she just brings so much joy to everybody.